In Ogun State, Governor Dakwa Biodo has vowed not to allow resident erect structures without building approval and other necessary documents. He made this known while reacting to questions from journalists about Datkin Plaza, which was partially demolished by officials of the Ogun State Planning and Development Authority for violating physical planning laws. Joining me for more on this is media consultant to Senator Benga Daniel, Steve Olide. Governor Dakpabiodun says he does not know the owner of Datkin Plaza, the demolition is not personal vendetta, and that it is lawful decision. Can you confirm to us that this building actually belongs to the wife of Benga Daniel Olufunke? Thank you very much. But when we say Datkin Plaza, Datkin Plaza is a limited liability company. And I think we should just understand the fact that it has very relative definition in terms of Otumba, His Excellency, the Senator Otumba Benga Daniel. There are two different, I, I, when you say there's a limited liability company, we are talking about that Camp Plaza as a business that exists, which is registered. And when I have to say, uh, Otumba Benga Daniel, no, not necessarily Otumba Benga Daniel. But let us now relate to the issue that is actually at stake here. Here is a business concern that applied to the Ogun State government in 2009 that got approval for a building to be constructed on Falagbade Street in Ijebode. Here we are talking about business concern, not necessarily about His Excellency, the Senator Otumba Benga Daniel. All right. Well, many believe that what is going on is the obvious play now that this is some form of political vendetta. How long do you think the daggers will be drawn between Governor Dakwa Biodo and Senator Binga Daniel, who both are actually from the same senatorial zone? We have several reasons to believe that there is also the hands of government in this matter. How this come about, we probably may not be able to say because the answer must be from the people who went to demolish and vandalize the properties of a private business enterprise, which is that can in this instance now. But when you look beyond it, we then begin to ask how many buildings have been similarly demolished, vandalized in the four years administration of His Excellency, Prince Dakwa Biodo in Ogun State. Now, if no single building have been similarly demolished or vandalized in the manner in which this was done in the middle of the night, then we should begin to ask questions. How? Why these properties? Yes, the government might claim they do not know the, uh, the owner of that business, but the fact still remains that whenever there are issues of constructions, I mean about uh, buildings, there are uh, controversies the law court is actually the final arbiter in this matter. Well, Mr. Olide, when you look at, yes, Mr. Yeah, Olide, the governor has said that this building violated physical planning laws. Is that correct? And, I, and I'm saying that this is absolutely untrue. Without being immodest, His Excellency Prince Dakwabiodo needs to prove to us why this and the, I think the media needs to visit the area called Folagbade in Ijebode and then begin to look all the structures on that road. What are the violations? I think we need to be told. If there is no, I don't know whether you are aware that there are, was a press release issued before His Excellency Prince Akwabianu made his own remark today. But the fact is that they came up with a press release and said this buildings existed without approval, which is absolutely not true. So is Senator Gwenga Daniel above the law? Senator Gwenga Daniel has never broken a single law in respect of any structure. Don't forget, he is an engineer who is well qualified to also be, I mean, he has several structures. Why this? That's the question we should ask. Let me come back to this. When you say a building, what are the infractions? You are talking about building codes. What are the building codes? Now we look at the right, you look at the left, you look at adjacent buildings. 
how many of those are actually in a violation of whatever law? In as much as that's why I asked the first question, which building has ever been demolished? We know that Governor, the, Governor sorry, Dakwabiyo, Mr. Lee, uh, we know that Governor Dakwabiyo actually mentioned that that building has received three stopovers. It's received a contravention notice in May of 2022 and the three stop order, uh, orders, a violation orders. But then we'll see how this matter unfolds in the days ahead. Media consultant, Same Senator reason. Gwenga Daniel Stivolidi, thank you so much for talking to us on TV. No, 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 no please just listen. No, just listen to me. Same reason we are saying that in the last, uh, we are talking about orders that have been served. Did you also confirm the fact that that building has an approval? When you say a building being constructed is illegal and without approval, but they also quoted that that same building has approval. They quoted the number. A building that is, does not have an approval, does not have a number, that number is actually generated from the Ogo State government. And we are saying that on that same street, on the same, in every part of that, that place, what are the infractions? When he said it is a violation of the building codes, what are the building codes that have been violated? Please. Okay. They need to state and come clearly on this. If you are talking about parking space, how many buildings on the road that does not have the parking space? That place is not inhabited as we speak. Well, we expect to see more revelations in the days ahead.